Hello and welcome to my IT and Gary Solutions on YouTube. Today I'm going to be going over a, an exclusive feature on the Sky Glass you can use. Now, I don't know how this how this came about, but I was updating my my Sky Glass um beforehand and it looks like Sky have added airplay to the systems now this means you can screen mirror your device apple devices as well as i'm not quite sure on samsung i would thought you would you can but basically you can share multimedia files to your sky glass from your iphone or your mac or your mac macbook imac or your tab or your iPads. So, how does this feature work? You may say. Well, AirPlay. Um, this a little bit of history. It goes back twenty years ago when it was um built into all iMac models, um of the phone, tablets, and you know iMacs and i MacBooks. So, um, so, so come twenty twenty four. Um, Sky have decided to have uh, had this feature to the Sky Glass as well as the Sky Box Q, Sky Q Box. I mean, and so, um, so yeah, you can share your screen, you can share video, and you you can share you can listen to music, vice versa to your Sky Glass as well as your Sky Q boxes, and as well as your Sky Stream. So how does this work? Well, normally in default, this would be turned on. So let's go and see if this is turned on on mine. I know this is turned on in my settings. So basically, we you can say settings through your voice remote control, and it'll bring to your settings. And uh, go to connected devices, and in here you can have more options such as like your Sky Remote, HMI input, Bluetooth devices, AirPlay, and HomeKit. HomeKit is a different technology where you can um, control different devices, as which is now supported on the Sky Glass as well. Um, so yeah, you see, mine is on by default. And when you first actually go to use it, uh, it shows you a pin code that you would enter on your, on your phone. So I'm going to show you this now um, on my iPad and see how this has worked, uh, how this works. And then we'll show you some features on what it can do. So that is on anyway in the Sky Glass bit of side of the technology and basically that's what it can do so that is on all we need to do is just connect to the sky glass directly so i'm going to use my ipad to connect so i'm gonna and your control center you will pull down And then you look for the two little tellies kind of thing, squares. Click that, and then it says screen mirroring. Click your living room, which is there. Then it asks for your code. Then that will just display on your screen. This changes or every time you connect a new device it oh well, you click ok and then your ipad then should connect six three eight oh now my ipad is on screen 
So there we go. And we are now connected by via screen mirroring. As you can see. Come out the control panel and you can see my iPad. Nice little badge, eh? Don't talk about football for God's sakes. But yes. Um, so what can we do from here? Now now we are screen mirroring to the sky glass. Um I, I've got the sky glass sixty-five inch. We can um open your safari on your tap on your bottom bot bottom and you can bring in and you can surf the web vertically on your from from your iPad which you can also see on your on your sky glass sorry um so if you were to turn the, your iPad it goes to a bit bigger screen as you can see so yeah you know we you can search so if you were doing your groceries for example tesco so we'll clear that tesco and you could do your shopping in the comfort of your own home, on the couch, and for it to do your next shop. So, that's surfing the web, such as Google, etc. You can stream, like, your videos and all that. Um, but you wouldn't need, essentially, to do YouTube, because Sky Glass has already got YouTube built in. So, you can still stream it, exact, exactly, but... Um, in a different matter, if you weren't on screen mirroring, so if you were to come off screen mirroring, which is that one there, turn that one off, stop mirroring, then essentially your sky glass will go back to like that there. And it shows it's still on. But if you wanted to screen stream a YouTube channel quickly to show your um, friends or family. What you would do is you would um, play a video. Um, I'll just look for a video so that's not an advertisement and um, no music because it, it'll be safe. So yeah, I'll upgrade an SSD. The video will play on your tablet, as we can see. And in the top left-hand corner... Down. And as you can see, if you press on the video, on the top right-hand corner here, you can see... It's like a screen mirroring feature. Press that. And connect to any devices so we're connecting to the sky glass which is the living room and essentially test apple id now the video is now playing from my ipad using the airplay to my sky glass as you can see so yeah, that is another way you can uh, do enabling, but then press it again, you you would disconnect. And that will go back onto YouTube, essentially. Um, you can share your photos as well on, as well, so we would go, um, click back on it. Click back on screen sharing. If you're on an app that won't work, you will need to come off an app 
for this to work. If AirPlay don't work on your device, turn the Wi-Fi off. The device you're That's trying home. to connect to and restart AirPlay casting. If you were to ever face an issue, your best bet is like to turn off the glass and to disconnect from your Wi-Fi, re-enable everything, turn your sky glass back on, and then back to screen ruin, and it'll come back on. If that's if you're getting your problems. Sometimes what would happen is it would freeze and you wouldn't, wouldn't be able to reconnect. Um, so back to what I was saying, files and videos on to your sky glass. It's a fantastic feature. I hope you find this really informative. And I hope you enjoyed my video. I'm Craig. Thanks for watching. I think I solutions. Please subscribe and turn your notifications on for more new content. And goodbye. Thank you.